Hello everyone and welcome to my new Let's Look At. I'm going to be looking at Bad Taste. Now as you can tell from the get-go, this is a horror game, and if you are easily scared, grossed out, this is probably not going to be a thing you're going to want to watch, because this game has a lot of gross out and a lot of brutal violence. Uh, but it's portrayed in a way that's not really scary, it's more so just beat em up it's uh, well, that's what the genre is. It's a side-scrolling beat-em-up, essentially, with a gun here, and melee weapons, and uh, all that stuff. But, yeah, uh, I'm going to shut up and let you get the story on here. Enjoy. My name is Chet. Once the world was a simpler place. That was prior to sausages growing legs and running around biting people, and before such things as man burgers existed. The world went to shit once Malakoy Beats released their magic meat menu, consisting of Salcoon tacos, Batboon burgers, and Alivark wraps. By genetically splicing the DNA of different animals, Malakoit Meats was able to give the hungry public an exotic menu of these monstrosities. However, the chemicals used to produce these bastardized versions of the livestock did something to the food. The meat started to mutate and become sentient, and those who had consumed it would become brainless zombies led by an insatiable lust for magic meat. And when they ran out, they ate people. The city is going to be nuked soon. I need to get out before then. Or end up as dead meat. Okay, so in the demo, and this is only a demo for the record, this is not an indication of any finished product, because in the in this there is a lot of one-liners, and they do tend to get recycled. I'm not going to blame the development staff for this. I'm guessing they just wanted some you know, voice acting in the first thing here. But yeah, the first thing in the Wharf Street, there's no enemies. There's no real point to do that until you get... It's basically just to get used to the aiming and moving system. Because you do want to be able to move and aim. Because that's a good way of avoiding damage, just by running, reloading, and then just... Instead of just sitting there getting my face eaten by a hamburger... You know, thing, abomination. Now, this is a limited inventory system. You only get to choose, I believe, one weapon from each category. I personally prefer the Beretta, because it's a lot easier to hit the head which is a very satisfying thing to do. Uh, the shotgun's not bad, don't get me wrong, but you gotta be pretty close, and you gotta be standing still to really get the most out of it if you wanna aim for a headshot, because it's, well, you you can really imagine, you stop moving, you aim better. Now the melee weapons, the one I used the one time well, didn't kill. On the bright side, at least they're not as annoying as tourists in Victoria. But it was, uh, shall we say, it stunned them, but I'd imagine the fire axe probably might have killed, but yeah. There's a lot of voice acting in this, and you're, I'm going to be talking over it. I hope it's not too annoying. If you'd like to play the game, I will put it in the description below so you can enjoy the game fully. But, uh, yeah. The plot line is pretty simple. You're just trying to get out of there before the place gets nuked. And as far as the art goes, I love it. I personally love the art style. And it's really just a macabre, yet still kind of silly look to it. Not silly. But a macabre yet, I don't know, it's like believably horror movie-ish. Like this is something that you would see in like a, mo a horror movie, isn't it? And yeah, I never noticed that big sign until just there. Huh. That would have made that a lot easier prior. Because I accidentally killed myself on that once. But it, it, it's not important right now, okay? I don't know how I missed that giant sign. I just did it, okay? Now, this is one of those opportunities where I said it's a lot better if you just run. Because if you just try and just stand your ground there, normally I don't think you could kill them all in time unless you use, like, a grenade. But, yeah, by all means, pick the grenade. The med kit's kind of just a fail-safe. I also really like that thing on the left where it shows his face. For the record, if you get hit a lot and your health, I think, goes below those little lines, I think it gets bloodier and bloodier. So it's a neat little thing that I really enjoy. It reminds me of Wolfenstein 3D, like at the like at the elevator entrance or the exit, whatever it was. But yeah, this is the second level. This is the strip club, and there's only two levels in the demo. Uh, if you go to Indiegogo, which is also in the description below, apparently if you 
chat. Uh, what's the word? Donate. I think you might get access to a, uh, a few extra levels right now, but I'm not sure. But anyway, there is a range thing with the Beretta. As you saw, if you're really far away, you don't get the automatic headshot. You gotta keep shooting. Now, I'm not sure if there's infinite ammo. It seems like there is, but I don't know if there will be in the full game or not. Now, the music, you're either gonna love or you're gonna hate it. I guess you could be indifferent to it. I, I guess I am, so I guess I, I guess you don't have to. I guess I kind of I kind of just yammered. I just kind of said that unknowingly, but yeah, there's a lot of areas in this game where you just kind of get mobbed, but it's not to the point where it's irreparable. You can just get out of it, especially if you have a grenade. That's a great place to throw the grenade if you have it. But uh, yeah, there are different branching paths in this game. Excuse me. In the demo, I believe there's only one. But I'm assuming in the full game, that it, like most levels are going to have that. Here, you can either go to the stage, or you can go to... That's the grenade, by the way. Or you can go to the arcade. Now, if you go to the stage, there are dancers. That's the main reason I'm not going, is because I just don't want to deal with that crap on YouTube. And because... Dude, it's an arcade. Who the hell doesn't like... I was trying to use that, so can I, like, stealth kill them? No, they, no, they just... You can do it after they get up, but not, not before. But they kind of get back up too, so that's not really useful. I don't, I don't know the point of using this, the, the baton. I, I, I'm trying to find a use for the baton, but I don't see it one. Like the time you spent swinging the baton, you probably could have just shot them in the face. I'm not trying to belittle the developers here. I'm just trying to understand what the reasoning for putting that baton in the game was. Besides the, that awesome Kendo animation, they kind of threw that in there. I'm not being facetious. I like that animation, by the way. But yeah, that's basically the demo for Bad Taste. Uh, if you want it, look in the description below. And uh, yeah, hopefully I shall see you guys later. Farewell until then.